Hi, this is Science Trainer Gamer. Um, thinking about a name change to Science Train actually. But um, I'm here to do an update on my Red Tribal deck and how it did. Uh, I went to a tournament recently um, and, you know, uh, had some games, so I was able to play test it against other people. Uh, 2LDR, my deck didn't do great, but I want to talk about it, some of the things that uh, I kind of face, and maybe some of the ways to make it better. First of first, what's in the deck? The deck had uh, these Agumons, so two of the 2 1 Agumons, uh, and then four of these other ones. So this one is uh, Inheritable plus 1000. This one is On Play, get three Agumons, get three Greymons or um, Omnimons from your, from your deck. Uh, reveal three, and you get to put them in your hand. Uh, and this one is a similar effect. This will reveal five cards and look for a tamer. These were the rookies. For the champions, um, I had four of the one blocker. They all for one blocker. Um, four of the uh, starter Greymon that uh, has security tech plus one heritable. I had three of this one, which is uh, if it evolves on an Agumon, it, it only evolves for one. Um, an inheritable plus 2000 if it's a Greymon or an Omnimon. Um, and then I wanted to try one of these. So the Greymon that's uh, on your turn, if it evolves from an Agumon, gain security attack plus one. More on how that performed later. Uh, these were my ultimates, uh, Metal Greymon Ultra Spoons. Uh, it can evolve it on top of another Metal Greymon to pop something for 4,000. Inheritable plus 2,000 DP for people on the line. This one is Inheritable if block, gain through memory. Uh, this one has piercing, and then when Digivolving, you can get a level 7 Digimon with Virus with this uh, in a statue from your trash your hand. Um, in this deck, that, that didn't happen, but uh, maybe after some changes, that could happen. The deck also had uh, basically just two Megas. So I had two of this one, the BT5 Great War Greymon. Um, when you Digivolve, you can delete something with Walker. Uh, inheritable, uh, it can delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. Uh, and then for this one, which is when Digivolving and Security Attack plus one, and then second, uh, it doesn't activate security skills and option cards that it checks. Uh, trainers, um, so I had uh, one of the Tai Kamiyas, uh, so it sets your memory to three, and then if it's a red Digimon with a stack of four, uh, it gives Security Attack plus one. So basically you need in training all the way to Mega to get that effect, or if you do the Ultras mode, then, um, then that can help uh, shortcut it Marcus Damon, when you swing with the Greymon, you get to suspend his trainer to gain a memory. Uh, and then Nokia, which is on play, you get to play an Agumon. And then second, you can uh, suspend her to gain a memory when you digivolve into an Omnimon or Greymon. Um, I also had, uh, where is it? Here it is. Uh, so two of the Scrap Claws. So one of your Digimon gains piercing. You know, the purpose of this was to really just make sure blockers don't ruin this deck's day. So I had two of these. Uh, and then finally, to wrap it all up, I had one of the Blitz Agumons, uh, I'm sorry, one of the Blitz Omnimons. Uh, when Digivolving Blitz, when Digivolving Unsuspend, and also all turns, uh, if something would delete this, you can uh, trash a level 6 Digimon from the Digivolution cards to delete, to stop that effect. Uh, and then the BT1 Omnimon, when Digivolving, say a name, delete that name from your opponent's side of the field. And then uh, when attacking, you can unsuspend this Digimon by returning one Digimon, level 6 Digivolution card on the stack to your hand. How did this deck do? The first matchup was against this and this and this and this. So basically I was up against a yellow green rookie rush and oh man it is so fast. So this player had a bunch of uh, draw cards and all of these play for you know two for three. Uh, some of them, you know, he did have like a, one, a couple champions so he could get some blockers. Um, so he evolved, he had some yellow blockers and stuff and like Turelimon and things. Um, and it is just so fast. And the fact that this is 5,000 is really unfortunate because Ultras Mode can't pop them. Um, and then my deck doesn't have Gaia Forces actually. My decision was, you know, I don't, you know, if somebody swings in my security uh, and, and if I have Omnimons instead, it's like a Gaia Force, so it'll kill 99% of what's coming at it. And second, when I evolve into an Omnimon, it's like a Gaia Force because you can delete a name. Um, but even if I did have an Omni uh, Gaia Force, do you want to pop a rookie with that? And, and so, you know, at one point I evolved into an Omnimon and I kind of didn't have that choice. I was like, oh, I guess I'm going to kill your Falcomon. Uh, and this player was smart to just have a wide variety, so it wasn't just like, 
you know, 12 Palamons or whatever. Um, you know, he had a lot of different things. Um, and it was just, it was just, that deck was just way too fast. It was able to build up faster than I was able to build up. And then they were just able to swing and, they, you know, they kind of waited. They didn't attack all at once because then they would be vulnerable for me to come back. Um, so they kind of waited until they had enough. And then they were just like, okay, and I'm going to swing for four and end and the game. Um, so that was a tough matchup for my deck previously. Um, and, you know, I do have, there's ways that this deck can exist in, you know, presently go, go about it. So one, you can delete the blockers with the BT5 World Greymon. So I had two of those. Um, but this one didn't. And I have more thoughts on that. Uh, so, you know, I, I guess you know, just for the sneak peek, uh, I do think things like um, like the Victory Greymon, uh, which has Stage you Burst 2, delete something with your opponents. Did, uh, delete one of your opponents' Digimon with 8,000 DP or less, Stage you Burst 2. Uh, so I do think this is going to be able to help solve that problem. Because this one, if you Digivolve and you have one memory, is you, you don't even get its Security Attack plus 1 effect. Right? Because you bounce it back to your opponent and you can't attack. Um, and at least this one, you do get to use this effect even if you trigger to pass it to your opponent's turn. And then 8,000 DP is pretty flexible. It kills basically all the ultimates and below. Um, so, so those are some of my preliminary thoughts. Uh, and I guess here it is worth saying that there is a uh, Omnimon Alteress, and so that can uh, delete all of your opponent's Digimons with 5,000 DP or less. Um, having played that Rookie Rush, I'm like, you know, I think, I think there's a place for that Digimon in this deck. Um, it has synergy with everything else, uh, it has Omnimon in the name, um, and, you know, I'm not saying, like, have four of those or whatever, but I need a little bit of that. I have, I have his place. Um, what was the second deck I played? The second deck I played was a Shine Greymon. So, Shine Greymon, the big deal is, uh, you know, it, it gets power from the Tamers, so if however many Tamers they have, that's how much plus, plus DP it gets. So this player had, um, you know, had pretty reliably always had two or three Tamers uh, in all the matchups. Um, so they were they were able to swing with 13, 14 into my line, um, into my security line pretty pretty regularly. And this is where I saw another problem. I had four of these and I had two of these. And all of these Megas, while they're cheap to evolve, they're 11,000 DP. And so, you know, I noticed this later too when I played a Purple Chaos Gallantmon deck, is that when you have your Megas at 11, and there are other Megas that your opponent might have that, you know, might evolve a four but will have power 12, is they're just gonna win. And so when they get Security Attack plus one, when they get, you know, Piercing or whatever, um, the only way that this deck can stop it is if they run into Nami. Insecurity, right? Um, and, and and so that was kind of not an ideal situation. Um, and, and, you know, I wasn't a big fan of that. Um, so, so that was something that kind of stopped me. The other thing that was a big, big, like surprisingly effective counter to my deck was this dude. Um, so this player had Cutemon, your opponent can reduce the evolution cost, and wouldn't you know it, but I had two Nokias in the field when I played it. And, and oh, like, I mean, the first matchup I won, because we both kind of built up, and I just built up a little faster and was able to swing for game. But then the second matchup, I had two Nokias, and then he played the Cutemon right away, and I was, I was just stuck. It totally notified my Nokia. I never saw my other two uh, trainers. And, um, you know, I, I didn't lose right away, but, it, you know, I eventually did. And and so I do think, uh, so this deck originally had uh, three Nokias. Um, I do think that that is an incorrect number because you're vulnerable to things like this. And this is those are the trainers that you draw. Um, so I do think maximum two Nokias, and then you just want to, maybe want to diversify with some of the other cards, uh, other Tamer cards. So uh, I think the big one, would be the, uh, you know, like the Matt and Ty, or Ty and Matt, uh, because this one uh, is pretty flexible. You get two memory when your opponent has a level six or higher, which is, you know, it's going to happen. Um, and then if you have an Omnimon, then you get Security Attack plus one, which in this deck, I'm going to have three Omnimons. Um, potentially, I could do some changes to get four. Um, you know, it's probably going to happen. So I do think, uh, you know... <laughs> If you have a stack full of Nokia's, you're going to be vulnerable to things like this, and that's just going to ruin your day. Now, and, and of course, like you can't plan around every single deck, right? Uh, originally, I was planning okay, around the blockers, you know, get the piercing and whatever, right? The piercing and the you know when blocked, get some memory. But then this, when I went to the tournament, I really I didn't really see a ton of blockers, and so um, you know I think this deck needs to be a little bit more flexible and just kind of plan around cards like Cutemon that are going to ruin Nokia's day. 
so that was one of the things that I faced that was uh, unpleasant. Um, and that's also when I realized, again, megas, you want to keep them small. No, I'm sorry, you don't, you don't only want the small ones. You do want to mix in some of the big ones. Um, and this is where, again, cards like the uh, Victory Greymon are going to come in nice because you did evolve, you can kill a thing. And if it's in your, if it's in your security, uh, you know, it's 12. And that, that little bit extra, that little bit does help. Um, you know, what else? What else did I... Uh, the other option is the Blitz Greymon, so I'm gonna come over here. So the Blitz Greymon uh, is another one that allows for four uh, piercing, so you know it does get some of this uh, you know anti-blocker going stuff going. Um, and the they did you boss too, so that's another like form of removal. You, you know when when you evolve it, you might pass it to your opponent's turn, but then you do weaken something, right? So if they have a level six, it's not a level four, um, and and so I do think having those 12 megas, particularly when they can help keep the tempo up and you know remove things on your opponent's side of the field, are gonna be great. Um, for the third matchup, I did see a uh, Purple Chaos Gallantmon deck. Um, I do think my Purple Chaos Gallantmon was better, but my, my deck is better, but um, you know, it wasn't playing it and he had his own and uh, in, at one point he had a Tactamon and stuff, uh, which this deck doesn't really have. Oh, that was lucky. Um, but kind of the thing that I, and, and this is where, again, I noticed that Chaos Gallant swings for 12, and if all you have is the 11 DP Megas, it's not going to work. Um, so at one point, he had a Tactamon, and, um, you know, I can, I can actually pull it up just to maybe help facilitate the explanation. Um, so at one point, he had a, a Tactamon, and so Tactamon has three abilities. You know, it can remove rookies, it can gain memory. Uh, so here it is. So it can remove rookies, it can gain memory, or um, it can swing for plus 2,000. So he triggered the plus 2,000 and it worked because he was able to pop my Megas and security uh, on top of his, um, I think he had the inheritable security attack plus one from a Black World Grom on or something. Um, which, you know, I don't know if Red has a bunch of 13 DP Megas, but 12 is better than 11, and, and I do think that, that that matters. So the other thing I want to bring up is that uh, you know, there's another uh, Mega that you can play. So the there's this War Greymon, which uh, evolves for four, you know, and it gets Security Attack plus one um, pretty easily, and maybe in Security Attack plus two. But the thing that I, I dislike about this, this starter deck, War Greymon, is that um, when you play it, it, go, it, it you know, evolves for four, you're probably going to go back to your opponent's turn, and, and, you know, you're not actually slowing them down. You know, you're only more dangerous once it's back to your turn, but... You know, there's a lot of things that your opponents can do to get rid of a card like this once you build it and then you build it on top of a stack. So I do think uh, this card I'm going to not prefer in favor of things like the Victory Greymon and things like in favor of the Blitz Greymon. Um, you know, uh, different things. What else? So again, these were the Agumas that I had and I do think long term, um, the, the Tamer one actually didn't come up. And the thing that I don't like about this one is that uh, you don't actually get to play them. I mean, this one is nice because if there's, you know, if you have a choice and you're like, oh, I really want to pop a blocker or I really want to whatever, you can pick the one that you want, right? Or if you're like, oh, I really need to evolve for cheap or I really need to get security type one, right? You can pick the one that you want. Um, and you can kind of do that with the tamers, but I never saw that many tamers. I mean, this deck has five tamers, so um, having the choice with this one actually never came up. And I do think having four is maybe not ideal. So I think long term, I'm going to take out these, I'm going to take out these, and I'm going to put in, um, I mean, keep two, keep two. Uh, but I do think I want to put in the uh, the Digiburst Agumon. Um, so this will work great with the Victory Greymon. So you can Digiburst it, get it back, keep the tempo going when you have another rookie that can evolve on your Cormons. Um, I also think that. Um, you know, when you're playing this Agumon, the Rise Greymon from BT4 uh, becomes an option. So it helps you get your Tamers out. Um, and this deck likes Tamers, you know, it has a couple uh, that help you accelerate all the way up to Omnimon. Um, and then, you know, of course, if you play the Matt and Tai, then that's another one that you can kind of play out. You know, it, it plays for four. So, you know, it's a level five. So definitely we're keeping all the Ultras modes maybe get one of these but but you know the ultras mode works on these but it doesn't work on the rise Greymon. so you know there's some trade-offs and i'm not you know maybe maybe it, 
it might be worth it, you know, so I might get two to play test, but right now the card I'm looking at it is like six dollars, you know, so getting two is twelve and ah man, that's maybe more money than I want to spend. Um, what else? I do want to give the report on this this uh Greymon. So, you know, when it rolls on an Agumon, it gets a great attack plus one. And so, you know, this this deck only has Agumon, so that that happened, but uh, just it's a champion and it's five DP, right? And you know, let's say you evolve on this Agumon, so you get you attack for six. It's just not strong enough because the app you run into the average ultimate, the average mega, the average uh Omnimon, and you're not even going to get to the second security because you've already died. So, I'm not a fan of this Greymon. I think, um, you know, it might just be best to have four of that Greymon, so the one that has a uh, you know, gain a memory when you digivolve from an Agumon and then it has inheritable plus 2000. So I think that's going to be a uh, long term stronger than 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 the promo Greymon. Um, I think for this one, you might have to more dedicate it, play around it. If you had Jammy, this would be great, but Red doesn't do Jammy. Um, this one, I think, is maybe overkill on the blockers. Again, I didn't see that many. And I think, preferably, I'd rather get my piercing on my Digimon. So I'm looking at, again, Blitz Greymon, and it has a dedicated piercing. And so, you know, I'd rather have that, and then you just play uh, a de uh, Delicate Plan, which ignores the, uh, you know, security effects on options cards. Um, this card is FAQ, so it's only options. And then it's cheaper, right? A Blitz Greymon, a Bolster 4, this is one, so it's a 5 memory, whereas, uh, you know, this Greymon, a Bolster 3, this costs 3, so it's 6 memory, you know? So I think, I think the other is going to be cheaper. I think this one... Uh, again, you don't see that many blockers and there's already enough blocker hate, you know, if you get the victory game on if you get the You know this card then you can kind of pop them and go from there. So I think uh, we're gonna remove the scrap, scrap the scrap clause and We're gonna get to put two of these back in just to kind of see how that goes um, You know, what about the Gaia forces? What about the uh, You know transcendent swords uh, They're nice, but here's the deal every single time you play these is your opponent's turn And so, you know, you, they're gonna put you at two to three memory in your turn you're gonna play a dude. You're gonna kill their Omnimons. You're gonna kill their Megas, and then they can they can build back up because you just put them at five memory. If they have a Nokia or they have a Time Mat or whatever, then they're gonna get you know seven. If they have the Kari's, they're gonna get you know plus one, um, and they're just gonna build back up. And so net, I'm not sure these are super great. I mean, sometimes if they're in security, they can be good, but again. Uh, I think instead I might just prefer to have the Omni Mono security because this is going to kill something too when they swing at it, you know, 99% of the time. And um, when you, at least when you Digivolve and you get the effect of killing a thing, right, similar to Gaia Force, um, you know, it's, it's just cheaper and then you have a level 7 that they have to deal with. Whereas this one, you kill a thing, but then they get to build back up and you, you have to solve, have a solution for the next thing, right? So there's that. Um, I also got to pull this Metal Grey one at one point. Um, I like that it has 90p. I like that it has security tech plus two. But again, just thinking about you know the swings, the first thing it runs into is a mega, and you don't get the extra security attacks. So, not sure this is preferable. Um, plus, I wouldn't want to play this. <laughs> this is a really expensive card. Uh, I don't know if I want to get another one. Um, and then when you attack, you lose five memory, so it goes to your opponent's turn. So again, that's not preferable either. I guess if you get it really early on before uh, your opponent gets to level Mega, then I don't know, you might be able to get an early head start. Um, I do like the Inheritable, plus 3000, so, so that's nice. Um, I don't know, <laughs> you know, your mileage may vary. Um, the other thing I thought about was, uh, you know, I could, I had this before, where I had four of the Z Greymons, and then you could just pull, get this Omnimon, so at least when you evolve, um, you know, the effect makes it act like removal because you can swing into one of your opponent's things um and then if you have a ultras mode or you know the greymon the bt5 greymon then you're now stronger than the average uh omnimon so you know that's that's useful swinging into unsus unsuspended things is useful um i just again i don't want to have a stack of four z greymons that are 11 dp and then if it's a security it's just it just i i want to be a little bit more more balanced um and plus, this is only removal if it's on a Z Greymon. If you evolve it from, you know, anything else, if you evolve it from anything else, it doesn't get the removal. You just swing into security. So uh, that's not ideal. Um, your mileage may vary. What else? What else? Yeah, so I think that's what the deck will look like. So 
uh, maximum two Nokia's. I do like these, you know, maybe another one of this one, just so you can, you know, cause you, you'll swing more than you'll get this effect. And this one, it gives you more memory. Um, maybe two of the Rise Greymons. Uh, you know, actually now that I think about it, you know, you, you never want to draw more than two. So maybe just one. Uh, so at least you can digiburst a, a tamer out and then uh, you know, when you swing, you can get something minus 2000 DP, and then when you swing with, you know, something else, right, something else, something else, particularly this one. Mm, maybe not this one. So I guess I was thinking that you could swing with it, and then this one will be able to pop it, but uh, that'll be kind of a tricky scenario. There's not a lot of things that are 10,000 DP for this one to be able to get it once you reduce it down to 8. So maybe not that. <laughs> sorry, sorry for that uh, uh, distraction. Um, yeah, so I think this is a deck. Summary, Coromon is great. Summary, um, the Sagumon is great. Summary, uh, I think this one is fine, but don't have more than two. So I think two is what we'll have. Uh, summary, this one's great for, uh, and then I'm gonna try for four of these, see if I can get them with the Victory Greymon. Um, we'll go from there. Uh, Champion, summary, pretty easy. So we'll just do 444. You know, honestly, I could even see the case of removing the blocker and putting some, something else spicy in there, but uh, I know there's another Greymon, I think a BT1 Greymon that uh, gives you plus uh, plus 1,000 and plus 2,000. I don't know, but sometimes you just need a blocker and um, this deck doesn't have that much removal. So keep those. Uh, for the gray, metal Greymons, um, I like these. I like that this effect can, get, can work off of any of them. That's important. Um, I like that this is piercing because sometimes you do need to just pierce through a thing, make them block, and I'd rather do that with a level five than with a, something else. Um, I do want to play test with the Blitz Greymon, so if I can get the Blitz Greymon out, then this one is going to be less important because it doesn't have the inheritable, whereas the other ones get the bonus and you know have some positive inheritable effect. Um, we'll see. You need to play test, right? Uh, Megas. So right now I'm running 2-2-2, two, 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 but I think long term I am going to want to have the Blitz Greymon. The Blitz Greymon will probably replace this one just because, um, you know, this one deals with blockers and it gives you a nice inheritable effect, but the Blitz Greymon deals with blockers too. So I think that that one is going to be uh, on nets better than uh, this War Greymon. And then we'll, I, I still think that the built-in Don't Activate Security Skills is useful. Um, I, but I do think your mega should overall balance towards the, the 12. Um, perhaps I might I can see this one or the Blitz Greymon replacing the BT1 War Greymon. Um, again, just need to play test to see how much it works. I didn't play, you know, I didn't play the Mega Zoo, I didn't play security control, so perhaps if that happens then this one will be more impactful. But then you still have these. Um, you know, so you can still have the delicate plans to kind of go out there. Um, long term, um, I do think uh, probably replace this one with the Omnimon Alter S. Uh, so that way it does function as a removal and um, you know you can make something unblockable with the Omnimon Alter S. So it's, an, it's a way to kind of help end the game. Um, like this one, right? This one did Digivolves and sorry, this one can unsus you know, unsuspend when you play it on top of something and it has Blitz, so that's fine. Um, I like this Omnimon. It's a removal. It's like a Gaia Force, you know, not exactly, but I like it. So those are fine. Uh, for the Tamers, uh, I think we'll do still do five, uh, just two Nokia's max. Um, I do think uh, a Matt and Ty has a place, so it'll be one, 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 and then maybe two Nokia's. Um, you know, I got a play test, and let's see, you know, in my games, with, like when the Ty comes, comes up, am I happy? Am I not happy? When the Matt, Ty and Matt comes up, am I happy? Am I not happy? Right, so you just gotta see what those different combinations of things, you know, are. Um, other things is, you know, if you have so many white tamers um, and you know you can add more ties you can add more Nokia's you know there might be a place for the Mega Digimon Fusion particularly for uh, you know the Omnimon Alter S or the uh, the BT1 Omnimon since um, when you play them you get to you you are able to unsuspend uh, basically or you'll be able to get a level 6 Digivolution card from from the stack to your hand so at least you have another Mega in your hand to kind of play after this kills it so I don't know. For now, I'm not going to run it, but we'll see how much I like these tamers in, prep in compared to these. If I like these tamers a lot, then maybe I'll put another mat and tie, and then we'll have one or two of these uh, to be able to get it out. And I think that's the deck.
I think that's all the cards. We, we you know we talked about you know, all the options. Um, we'll see. I'll keep play testing. I hope this video was helpful. I know this video was long, so you know, <laughs> I guess it's a couple things. Uh, but um, what else? Um, I did build a, a really strong yellow deck, surprisingly, with the DP reduction that um, was able to beat versions of this deck, uh, versions of my uh, purple, Cal purple Chaos Calamon deck uh, multiple times. So I might do a profile on that, um, or I might just wait for I'm missing some Patamons to make it just a little bit spicier. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, again, this is a uh, Science Trainer Gamer. You know, I might change my name to science train we'll see if that's available because pokemon unite didn't have enough characters for science trainers so, so i made it science train and i kind of like it um we'll see